Welcome to our Cavalcade of Bands. My name is Miss Serenita, and I'm the band director here at Merrimack High School. Uh, my band director colleagues are Mr. Matt Zopa, who teaches at JMU's. And Mrs. Holly Levine, who teaches band at the Merrimack Middle School. And before I get too far, please take a moment to locate the exit signs that are closest to you in case we do need to evacuate for any reason. There's a straight back. There are doors over in that corner, this corner, and you can see these. So make sure you don't all go to the same place to leave, please. Um, we'd also like to thank the fabulous crew from Merrimack TV for being here to record our event, along with Steve McDowell for running sound tonight. <laughs> March is designated as Music in Our Schools Month. And tonight is a super finale to a very music-packed month in Merrimack. Uh, thank you to all our district music teachers. Many of them are here tonight. If they could stand up if they're here tonight and give a wave from MES, Thornton's. We've got lots of music teachers in the building. And we thank them. They are dedicated to fostering joy and love of music throughout Merrimack, beginning with our youngest students. Um, before we get started, I wanted to note two names that disappeared off the program, which is Jimmy Peavy and Ben Ricks, our drummers in the middle school jazz band. And I have Jimmy and um, Ben, I have printed new programs for you, so you'll have your names in them. Um, and now, please welcome Mr. Matt Zopa and the Grade 5 Band. All right, I just want to welcome one more time. Um, thank you for being here, and thank you for supporting everything that we do. Um, I'm very excited to present to you the fifth grade band from JMU's. Um, some of you may know they just performed their very first concert not too long ago. It was just about two months ago. And in two months, uh, two months ago, they were playing very simple songs out of our lesson books, um, and they all were playing the very same thing the whole time. So in the two months since then, we have branched out, and now we are playing multiple parts at a time, and um, it, they've really come a long way in, again, just two months. Um, so we had planned to pre uh, prepare two songs for you. One of them um, is Battle of the Giants, which you're about to hear, and the other one was Mechanical Monsters, and I had to make the unfortunate decision to save Mechanical Monsters for the end of the year. Our two months was not long enough to get two songs in, um, and they will, they're going to do a fantastic job with it. Um, they're very excited about it. I'm excited about it, um, so we're going to save that, and we're actually going to use it for recruitment for our fourth graders um, coming up to fifth grade next year, so we're excited about that. So please enjoy the fifth grade band's performance of Battle of the Giants.
Um, now we have the sixth grade band, so we'll see the kind of the next level of here. That's one, one of the great things about this concert. I'm sure you've heard it before, is being able to see the progression of learning that happens here um, in Merrimack. And I'm very happy, this being my first year here, I'm very happy to be a part of such an awesome music program. And thank you again for all of your support um, in making these, ha these things happen. Um, the sixth grade band is going to perform two pieces for you tonight. The first is Celtic Air and Dance. Um, one, the air being the slow part of the song and the dance being the faster song part at the end. And then our second selection is a piece called Rhythmania. It's a lot of fun. Enjoy the sixth grade band.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. All right. How about that transition? Pretty amazing, right? <laughs> All right. Down to a science. <laughs> All right. My name is Holly Levine. We're really excited to be here tonight. Um, we have two songs to play for you. You can see them in the program. The two songs that we're playing for you are two of the three that we played very recently, a week and a half ago, at the NHMEA Large Group Festival. That's kind of a big event, um, and the high school, Miss Serenita will talk about that as well. But um, we went to the event, and we get adjudicated by three judges. We play, and there's like the panels of judges right out here. It's kind of scary a little bit. Um, we have to sight read, and we get, we get scored. We get rated. And I just wanted to share publicly, because we're very proud. The kids are very proud. But this group received a rating of four, which is the highest level rating they can possibly receive. Thank you. So we played, like I said, we played three songs. Um, we can only play two tonight, unfortunately, but we're happy to play the two that we've chosen for you. So our first song tonight is called Canto.
Thank you so much. So I just want to take another very, very short opportunity to recognize some of the really, really neat special things that some of our students do that go well above and beyond the ordinary day-to-day -day band rehearsal. So we have, um, there's a couple of events like the Solo and Ensemble Festival, which is an event where uh, students learn individual solos and they go and they play them in front of a judge. It's not a competition, but they get rated and they get feedback and it's a really amazing experience. We also have a couple of honor bands. We have the NHBDA middle level honor band that was snowed out on March 14th, but has been rescheduled to April 10th. So we're very excited about that. We also have another upcoming event in May called the District Honor Band Festival. So I would like all of our students who have participated in any or will participate in those, if you guys would stand up and be recognized. Very hard workers, great kids all around. So we just have one more song to play for you tonight. It's called Blue Ridge Reel. We hope you enjoy it.
really. Okay. <laughs> um, that first piece was Joe Avery's Blues or Joe Avery's piece. It's also known as Second Line. Um, it's a piece that we started learning by ear at the beginning of the year because that's the tradition in New Orleans with this song. And then um, we kind of put together an arrangement in the last rehearsal and a half pretty much. So, and that's the beauty of that early traditional jazz. Once you know the main melody, you can improvise from there and kind of have a good party with it. Um, before our last song, oh, that featured um, Trey Grant on trumpet. Uh, that featured Trey twice. He kicked off the song. It was followed by Ross Corman O'Reilly with a, a call. And then our 12-bar blues solos were by Trey Grant, Evan Carlson, Evan Brodsky, Dave Sharma, and Ross Corman O'Reilly. Um, I do want to point out tonight, it's, it's a great night to be back at this. We came back last year after our two-year hiatus. But um, I believe when Mr. Zope and I were speaking, he may or may not have been in the very, very first Calvacate of Bands. So we're glad to have him back here in Merrimack. And there's local lore and legend in the audience today, the person that invented our Calvacate of Bands. Uh, Mrs. Cunningham is here to see us tonight. <laughs> So we're so glad, Mrs. C, that you uh, started the first Calvacade, obviously not that long ago because you would have been a child at the time, but yes, thank you. Okay, so before our last, oh, it looks like. I don't know how microphones work. Um, okay, thank you. <laughs> it's okay. No, I fixed it. It's all right. Uh, hi. For those of you who don't know, I'm Eris, and I'm this year's band president. Um, first, uh, you probably saw on your way in, but all, there's the decorations on that wall over there. Um, each decoration is a different Merrimack band student, and uh, each shape is a different band. Our fifth grade band is Stars. Our sixth grade band is eighth notes, our middle school band is quarter notes, and our high school band is crescent moons. Um, the shapes represent tonight being a night of music and start and end with stars which, and moons, which was a fun full circle moment. Please, please take your name decoration um, before you leave. And also a huge thank you to Allie for helping me cut out all the shapes and making my kind of crazy vision come true. <laughs> um, and now, um, also, amazing job to everyone who performed tonight, and I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all the band directors here tonight who have made this possible. Uh, Mr. Zopa, welcome to your first cavalcade as a director. Thank you for everything you've done. Your band sounded amazing, um, and I can't wait to see what you're going to do. Mrs. Levine, I remember middle school cavalcade so well, and it was such an amazing experience. Thank you for cultivating a positive, dedicated space that was like a second home to me. Me and so many other musicians here tonight are so eternally grateful for you. And a huge thank you to Mrs. C for being here tonight and for being um, some of our band directors for three years. Um, and we appreciate you for everything you did. Finally, Miss Serenita, in fifth grade, you taught us how to play our instruments. And I remember my first cavalcade so distinctly. We played Castles and Kings and Bugler's Dream. And now that I think about it, they kind of sounded the same, but it didn't matter to fifth grade me. Um, I fell in love with bands and you continuously cultivated that love. Um, it is an honor to play in my final cavalcade under your direction once again, and we are lucky to have you as our director. Thank you for the best last cavalcade I could ever ask for, um, and now I'll pass it off to the Vice President Kelly. Hello. <laughs> um... What he said. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, let me give you um, the Miss Serenita and uh, Mr. Sofa cards. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Wait. The, and the Mrs. Levine cards. No, I can go, but I, either way. <laughs>
Okay, uh, before our last jazz band song, I have a message for our fifth graders. I learned this from you, Mrs. C. Um, congratulations on your first cavalcade and welcome to our band family because when you look around, we are a band family. Um, you will always remember your first cavalcade, as Eris mentioned, and we want you to keep on playing. We want you to play in sixth grade and at the middle school and here at MHS. Sixth grade... I miss you. Come back. Come to see me again soon. Um, and the middle school. You're both. No. I'm in a new position this year. I'm not used to where I'm pointing and looking. I'm still in JMU's brain. Um, wow. It's always exciting to hear your musical growth each year. Keep playing, please. We want you to play all the way through 12th grade. You're all inspiring. You take on extra learning, music practice, and you're reading and playing music, which is complex. It could be easy to quit sometimes when it feels hard, but you've persevered, and because of that, you are successful. And MHS, thank you for balancing your very full high school lives with a very full band life here. You work with jobs, you take hard classes, you take a lot of classes, some of you crazy. You have clubs and athletics, family and personal commitments, and yet you make time for making great music together. Thank you so much. Um, before we close out this year's showcase of our bands, I want to give a thank you to all the students that worked hard to set up after school. Thank you very much. Uh, we even have a non-band student that came, and so he has a seat of honor here. Thank you for all your help. Um, and we want to also thank the students for the practicing the instruments and the parents for having them practice the instruments and driving them everywhere to play their instruments and for being here tonight and supporting that. And um, all the students, parents, teachers, friends, and family that are here, thank you. After this song, the concert is complete for this year. Um, please, audience, please remain seated. We want to let all the musicians out first to go pack up their instruments. At that time, they can come back to collect their name or take a picture with it and take their name that Aris and Allie so lovely made for them over there. Um, but please let them all out to pack up, and then they can come back to collect their names. Um, and you can go collect your children too, but we do want to keep everything clear until all the students are out first so we don't have a traffic jam. Um, our last tune is... It's a little big gumbo. We're going to stay in New Orleans a little bit here with you. Uh, we've been kind of traveling through different time periods in jazz, and we're, we're, we're really in New Orleans right now. Um, and this features um, Hakari McDowell and Trey Grant and Sean Jalbert kind of scattered in throughout this piece of music. This is Little Big Gumbo. Little Big Gumbo. 